We have uh, seen the increase in narco trafficking in the last four years. It has passed from 42,000 hectares to 188,000 hectares. Legal miners are fleeing the country. On the other side, illegal mining and narco trafficking are the only two sectors of the economy that are growing at this moment. I see so many obstacles for the private-public partnership. For instance, Colombia has created a great level of investment confidence, and in the last year, for first time, we saw a decline in gross capital formation. It um, decreased by 3.6%. And in the first quarter of this year, we have seen the same negative performance in investment confidence. We have dismantled incentives for investment, and at the same time, we drop the legislation to allow the government to sign paths on stability with the private sector. We have the for economy in the world with the highest tax, taxation. At the same time, many areas of the country are under control of terror groups. For instance, last year we saw a growth in extortion by 236%. We had 5,480 cases. We cannot speak on conflict. We cannot speak on post-conflict in a country that has been a rule of law. Colombia is different than other Latin American countries where dictators were confronted by civilians in guns. In Colombia, we have enjoyed the rule of law, and the rule of law has been confronted by narco-terrorist groups. FARC enjoys full impunity, and the country is worse. FARC is the largest cocaine cartel over the world. Therefore, I, I have many doubts on the possibility for my country on the path it is on at this